Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, this video is for the new, uh, spellbook cards that are going to be coming out in Cosmo Blazer, which is going to be the set after Abyss Rising, so it'll be a while before we get this, but, uh, yeah, let's go and check out these, uh, new cards that are going to be coming out. I think that, uh, some of them are actually pretty decent, I would say. So this is Fool of Prophecy. He is a spellcaster. Uh, Earth level 3, 1600 attack, but, uh, he's kind of like an Armageddon Knight. Uh, so, one well, turn he can send a spellbook spell card from your deck to the graveyard. And then during the end phase of the turn, you activate this effect. If there are five or more spellbook spell cards in your graveyard, you can attribute this card to spell someone at one level five or higher. Dark spellcaster uh, type monster from your deck. Uh, keep in mind, you will not be able to go for Chaos Sorcerer because Chaos Sorcerer must be first special summoned uh, by banishing a light and a dark. Uh, now, as far as the archetype, uh, there are a lot of, like, Earths. There's, you know, Dark and Light are probably the most popular in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'd say they have the best support. Um, unfortunately, not all of the spellcaster, uh, like the spellbooks, are Earth. Um, because then you'd be able to run Grand Cell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that, uh... I wish, like, more of these cards were, like, light or dark. I know Temperance of Prophecy is also an Earth, but I don't think it's viable to run Grand Soil at the moment. But perhaps if there's, uh, you know, other cards that, uh, are able to, uh, put more, uh, Earths in the graveyard, perhaps? You, you never know. Might be, uh, seeing some play. But, uh, yeah, this card will actually bring out a level 5 or higher, uh, Dark Spellcaster-type monster. And we're gonna be talking about that card right now, which is, uh, Reaper of Prophecy. Now, uh, you can just special summon him, uh, and, uh, you get different effects. Uh, you can also normal summon, he gets different effects. They should've just said when the, the... Or they might actually change it, because these names of these cards, as well as their effects, might change just a little bit because of translation and stuff like that. But, yeah, this card basically, when it's summoned, because it says normal or special, um, and I think those are the only types of summonings in Yu-Gi-Oh's anyways, so I don't think there's, I mean, it has to be normal or special. I guess you technically wouldn't get its effect if you flip summon it, but I don't think you'd want to tribute, uh, summon this card, uh, face down. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, basically, whenever he summons, he gets the, uh, effect, uh, depending on the number of spellbook cards in your graveyard. Uh, you can only use the effect of Reaper of Prophecy once per turn, so three or more, you gain 600 attack. Four or more, you'd add one spellbook spell card. From your deck to your hand, um, and then five or more, you get to spell summon one level fire higher uh, spellcaster type monster from your deck. Now that's pretty good, considering you can get out uh, another one of him, or you know there might be more cards that are pretty good to get out uh, in the future once they uh, release more of them. But yeah, I mean he's got he's got okay attack. You know, twenty six is pretty nice. Um, uh, but yeah, you can only use the effect of him once per turn. So what I like about that is it really prevents like OTKs. I would say. Uh, with this card, because um, you could, if you had five or more, you can just special summon uh, a uh, another Reaper of Prophecy, then activate that one's effect. But yeah, since you can only activate the effect of Reaper of Prophecy once per turn, you won't be able to do uh, you know spam triple Reaper of Prophecies, and I think that is that's good for the game at least. Uh, yeah, but he's level six, so um, you know if you can get out you know double of him, you can exceed to a rank six, and uh, you know I think that that's pretty decent. Um, I think this card might see some play. Although, I'm not sure if drawing him would be the best, um, because, uh, I know there's Temperance, I, th I don't remember if it's light or dark, um, but yeah, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I think with Temperance you're pretty much gonna be going for, um, High Priestess anyways, because that one probably has one of the best effects, but yeah, this, this card's definitely, uh, something decent. Uh, and then the last card we're going to talk about is Spellbook of Sephir. So if you control a face-up spellcaster type monster, you can reveal one other Spellbook spell card in your hand to target one Spellbook normal spell card in your graveyard, except Spellbook of Sephir. This card effect becomes the same as that target's original effect. You can only activate one Spellbook of Sephir per turn. So that said, I'm pretty sure that, um, how that will be ruled as, I don't know, they might change the wording on this as well, keep that in mind. But, um, I'm pretty sure basically if you activate any, uh, any, like, spellbook, like, say, for example, spellbook of secrets, you can't use, uh, Sephir and basically activate another spellbook of secrets, um, because, uh, most of the spellbooks, uh, as you guys know, except for there's a quick play, but, it, remember, you have to use normal spellbook, uh, or spell, you have to use normal spell cards for, uh, Sephir anyways, because it does say, um, one normal spell card, so that does not mean quick plays, uh, but yeah, I don't think you'll be able to use, like, book of secrets multiple times, because it has the effect of you can only activate one spellbook of secrets per turn, uh, even though this is another card, I'm pretty sure that's the way that they're trying to word it. Um, they might change it again in the future. But yeah, I think this card, I don't think it's, you know, that great. Because you had to have already activated uh, that spellbook and then, I mean, technically next turn you could use it, um, essentially, to use the same one. So I think it'll be, it'll be mediocre. I don't think this card will really make the deck. But perhaps if you guys know some combos to really abuse this card, um, it might be possible. Because, um... Keep in mind, you can't use the field spell also, because that, 
it's tied to kind of like a continuous. It has like the little field spell. So, um, yeah. So basically, I mean, I think getting a uh, spell book of secrets effect multiple times, it just it deck thins and it really helps you uh, have the ability to search out for whatever you need at the moment. And I think that this card is probably one of the best ones. But yeah, I don't think you'll be able to activate spell book of secrets, then suffer, and basically get double secrets effect per turn because that'd be that'd be pretty good and that'd really uh, speed up the deck. But yeah, those are three cards that are coming out. Uh, in Cosmo Blazer, and I think that, uh, you know, this this archetype is looking pretty good. I mean, uh, they were already pretty decent um, from Abyss Rising uh, with a field spell and all that stuff, and I think that uh, this could be a very good uh, archetype, so if you're looking for a... I think the deck's it's pretty fun, it's relatively new, so... Uh, but basically, it's all about the High Priestess, as I mentioned in my, uh, like, discussion video about the uh, Spellbook archetype, but yeah, I think the, the archetype is looking pretty good. could be a, a definite contender for a, a tier, a high-tier deck, um, in the future sets, or even uh, at the moment right now, because a lot of people are playing it, and it is a pretty decent deck. But if you guys know any combos with uh, these uh, cards that would absolutely destroy the meta, uh, let me know in the comment section below, because I'd love to uh, hear what you guys have to say. I think that Reaper of Prophecy will really allow you to, uh, you know, get that OTK, um, even though you can only activate his effect once per turn. Uh, if you just special summon, like, double of um, him, and then you're, you, you already have, like, High Priestess on the field, you can probably just push for game anyway, so... Pretty awesome uh, cards that are coming out in Cosmo Blazer. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.